Hi there. In this video, I'm going to be looking at financial processes, uh, but more specifically, the gearing ratio. So firstly, what is gearing? Well, or also known as leverage, actually. Um, so firstly, gearing is the proportion of debt, which is external finance, and the proportion of equity, internal finance, that is used to finance the activities of a business. And gearing ratios determine the firm's solvency. So that is its ability to meet its financial commitments in the long term. So if it was able to meet its commitments in the short term, it will be its um, liquidity. Ability to meet its financial commitments in the long term is solvency. Uh, gearing measures the relationship between that debt and equity that I mentioned earlier. Um, the more highly geared the business, so more debt than equity, the greater the risk for the business um, in terms of being able to pay back its debts, but the greater potential for profit as well though. Um, so let's have a look at some, uh, at, at some ratios. So the debt to equity ratio. So debt to equity ratio equals total liabilities over owner's equity. So let's substitute some numbers here. So let's say that uh, total liabilities is $75,000 and owner's equity is $125,000. Then you can say that there's a 0 0.6 to 1 debt to equity ratio. Now what this means is that the firm has 60 cents in external debt or liabilities for every $1 of internal debt, owner's equity. Um, a ratio of one to one indicates a sound financial position. So this company is in a safe position. Um, th there's no real one number that this should be here though. However, um, you want to try and keep it, um, uh, keep it as low as possible. Um, because as we find here, the higher the ratio, the less solvent the firm. So that is, the higher the ratio of debt to equity, the higher the risk. Okay, um, so the firm must look carefully at interest rates, business confidence, economic indicators, to uh, to work out to determine if the balance between debt and equity is appropriate for its business or industry. A highly geared firm, so a firm that uses more debt than equity, carries more risk with regard to longer term financial stability, so being able to pay back its debts in the long term. Um, and investors will be less attracted to a firm with a higher debt to equity ratio um, because there is a greater financial risk as well. There is a higher greater, uh, there's a greater financial risk in terms of um, them making sure they can pay back their debts on time. So um, investors will be a bit less attracted. So while there is no one um, uh, figure that they should be aiming for, um, a lower lower um, ratio is ideal in terms of being more solvent and being able to attract more investors. Um, however, it also means that they might not be um, able to invest in um, in projects if they don't have enough debt. Because remember, debt is much more readily available. So if they do have more debt, um, they're more able to purchase new equipment, buy new machinery, something that they couldn't do with just equity. Uh, so I hope this uh, brief video on the gearing ratio has been useful. The next video continues looking at financial ratios, uh, but more specifically the profitability ratio. Thank you.